Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, got a uh, DVD review, and uh, this time around I am reviewing the film uh, This Is The End. And it's got uh, James Franklin, Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, uh, Jay Barchell, Danny McBride, uh, Craig Robinson, with Michael Cera and Emma Watson. So it's an all-star cast, and uh, each of the characters play themselves. So the film starts off Seth Rogen picking up his mate Jay from the airport. Like I have mentioned, uh, Seth Rogen and all the other characters in the film do play themselves. They're not playing the character, they're playing themselves. So the film is also almost like a documentary, because it's themselves, it's real life. The film uh, then, once the airport uh, is gone and Seth Rogen has picked up his mate Jay Barchell, uh, taken back to his house, and uh, later on in the film, at the start, uh, they go to a party at James Franco's house. Uh, so the party's in flow and uh, Seth Rogen decides to go to the shop to buy uh, some fags really. So Seth Rogen, Jay, go from the party to uh, a local shop to buy some fags. I think it's fags anyway. And uh, while the two characters are at the shop uh, buying supplies for the party, uh, an earthquake hits. Nothing unusual really I suppose. Out of the skies a blue light comes down and takes people away. Sucks them away. After this event, uh, blue light taking people away into the sky, uh, Seth Rogen and Jay they go back to the party and nobody at the party at uh, James Franco house seems to have noticed that there was an earthquake and big blue lights from the sky took people away. Nobody's mentioned it. Nobody noticed it. It's like it never happened at the party. So once this has finally been in effect and that people have kind of come around to the notion that you know there was an earthquake and there was lights from the sky, all the people from the party go outside and have a look. And uh, yeah, they all go outside. There's a couple hundred people maybe on the front of the house and each one then discovers that the world has gone to shit. It's gone. It's been destroyed. It's on fire. Uh, while they're outside, a big hole conveniently uh, opens up outside Jane Franco's house. It's massive. And uh, quite a few people fall into the hole. One of these people who fall into the hole is actually Rihanna. And uh, a bit of a shame, because we all love Rihanna. And uh, yeah, it's not really a spoiler, because it happens within like the first ten minutes of the film. So... No spoiler warning needed, but Rihanna dies. Honestly, I kind of stopped making notes of the film uh, simply because I was having too much fun watching it. Uh, it's such an enjoyable film. Uh, if you want to laugh out loud comedy with a big cast of modern day uh, comedian actors, maybe if, if you're not a fan of any of the mentioned characters, uh, then maybe you'd like the film uh, because Emma Watson's in it. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, Emma Watson's in the film and she says fuck. So yeah, if you don't like any of these guys but you love Emma Watson and you love Harry Potter and all that, um, yeah, she is in the film for a brief moment and she says the word fuck. So maybe that'll tickle your taste buds. But yeah, I kind of stopped making notes on the film simply because I was too busy enjoying it. Uh, too busy laughing at it. I found it such a good film to watch. Uh, my mate, however, did not um, think the film was that funny. He didn't say it was his cup of tea. Uh, but me, I loved it. Great comedy. Uh, laugh out loud. Modern day comedian actors. Um, so if you like any of the mentioned, James Franco, Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, Jay Barchell, Danny McBride, uh, Craig Robinson, uh, Marcus Aaron, Emma Watson, even Rihanna, she's in it. A big cast of film actors, uh, comedians, laugh out loud. Uh, can't rate it enough, very good film. Uh, yeah, this is the end, very enjoyable film. Uh, thanks for watching my review of it. Don't forget, WWTD, any We The Devoted Gear, 20% off, all the links down below. However guys, thank you for watching my review of This Is The End.